Short, stuck, exterior, alien desert planet day. Desert landscape of blue and purple hues juxtaposed against a red, blue, a blood red sky. We're a long, long way from Earth. Within a pile of rock, we find a heap of metal debris, the remnants of a single passenger spaceship, very recently crash landed. Smoke still rises from the burning engine, the kicked up sand still settling in the air. Wham! A foot shoots its way out of the rubble. It shakes around, not quite sure what to do with itself. A second foot shortly follows, then butt, torso, arms, one and two. The survivor digs their way out, stands. A cracked, now useless helmet is lifted off as gravel pours down the pair of shoulders. We finally see the face of Grant, a 30-year-old woman with a sternness in her eyes and, in spite of herself, a slight grin at this most recent victory. She turns to face her ship. The engine here, the wing over there, she wanders through the rubble until she finds the remnants of a single flyer control panel. She leans down, examines it, finds a baseball-sized sphere nestled into it. She takes a hold and yanks it out. She pulls from her pocket a small device, an emergency power source. She plugs it into the bottom of the sphere. She shakes it a bit, hits it on her hand. No dice. She twists the sphere to open it in halves, blows on each half, and clicks it back together. The sphere lights up, powering on. Works every time. Holographic landscape begins to fade up around the sphere. A tiny green dot begins blinking in the southeastern hemisphere, accompanied by the floating words, you are here. She turns the sphere over in her hands. She notices a faded orange block on the map, not far from the green blinking dot. Bullseye. She looks out at the horizon and confidently begins her trek across the dry indigo landscape. Exterior, ship shop, later. Grant approaches her destination, a massive warehouse-sized garage somewhere between your local mom-and-pop auto repair and an airport hangar. We hear zzz, 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 coming from one of the garages, the sound of life. Grant follows the noise. Interior ship shop garage day. The work noises grow louder as Grant approaches the edge of the entryway. The garage is unkempt, to say the least. Pieces of ship littered everywhere, like an aircraft graveyard. Grant peers inside, her gaze holding on some movement in the back of the garage. She moves in. She rests her hand on a gun holster on her belt. She rounds the corner to find Angelica. She's young, 20 or so, with dark skin and doe eyes behind safety goggles that focus intensely on the work in front of her. Grant watches her for a moment. Knock, knock. Angelica yelps. And all the noise comes to a halt as she jumps, repositions her tool to aim it at Grant in a meager attempt at self-defense. I'm in need of some repairs on my vehicle. Angelica lets out a sigh. Well, why wouldn't you say so? She takes her gloves off first, then her safety goggles. She faces Grant, who takes her in, notices Angelica's curves, her hair, her hands. What's wrong with your ship? It's in a few different pieces right now. A few? I counted about 52. She shows Angelica the navigator. 53 if you count the damage I did to it myself. You have a crew with you? No, ma'am. Then I reckon you did all the damage yourself now, didn't you? Grant laughs, the nerve. Seem a bit young to be working on the ships. Now Angelica laughs, appreciates the challenge. Easy to get years of experience under your belt when you start right out of the womb. Where's the rest of your team? Angelica gestures to herself. You're looking at it. You must be exceptionally good with your hands. The best. What kind of rock ain't got nothing but one person on it? The emergency landing service moon kind of rock, I suppose. Not exactly a tourist destination. Just stationed here to serve a purpose. Right. You think about serving mine, or do I gotta show myself to the next emergency landing service? Won't find another without leaving the atmosphere, which, to my understanding, is currently quite impossible for you. Angelica brushes past Grant to exit the garage. If I can't fix it, you're doomed. Off Grant. Exterior desert crash landing site day. The two women stare at what remains of Grant's <laughs> ship. I can't fix this. Huh? B. I've got a pod hopper in the garage. Won't take you, but to the next rock. But once you get into the town there, you can put yourself on the market for a new ship. That's about the best I can do for you. You'd let me take your hopper from you. Easy, cowboy. I will be expecting some form of payment. Well, I'll admit I'm a bit strapped for cash at the moment, given everything I've ever owned crashed and burned about two hours ago. 
Well, we have ourselves a conundrum then, don't we? Grant throws her arms defeated. Angelica takes a beat, then. Join me for supper. Oh, no, I couldn't. Not a request. That's how you'll pay me. Grant's not sure what to say. You said it yourself. This rock doesn't have a thing but me on it. Not too often I get company. Just sit down with me, eat my food, have a chat, maybe get some rest. All I ask. Eat your food? You drive a hard bargain. Angelica doesn't give just yet. She's serious. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but that hardly feels like a fair trade. Eh. The pothopper's a heap of junk anyway. Missing a part. Well, then, what the... That part right there, to be exact. She points to one of the pieces of Grant's ship, indicating the part she needs somewhere amidst the rubble. Well then, looks like we are meant to find each other. Supper, good? She flashes a smile and takes off back towards the ship shop, leaving Grant at her pile of rubble for a moment. You don't need to grab this part? But she's off. Grant looks around another moment before following after her. Exterior ship shop day. Grant sits at a picnic table outside the shop. Angelica approaches with a bowl of food, some army-grade rations. Looks tasty. These rations are all I have. Oh, that wasn't sarcasm. I haven't had a proper meal in ages. Grant digs into the food. Angelica studies her. After a beat, Grant feels her watching, slows down her eating. What happened to the rest of your team? I'm not quite sure I caught your name. Grant stays on guard while Angelica presses her. Grant. Grant. I'm Angelica. There's more if you'd like seconds. Where did you get these rations? What brought you up this way? Grant sighs, relents. Work. What kind of work? Kind that gets me paid. Dangerous kind? Killing kind? Grant freezes, eyes her. That ship's an army grade Essian sniper scout, after all. Recognize those legendary bastards even in the mountain of metal you turned it into. Very small. Not quite meant for interstellar travel. Not meant for much besides taking out a- Look, I don't- Did, did they send you here? The Essians? God, no. Why would they send me here? Angelica stares, eyes steady. This isn't small talk. It's an interrogation and she's not letting up. They didn't send me here. Sounds like what someone who was sent by the Essians would say. Look, if you must know, I stole the thing light years ago back in Sector H. I like the feel of the scouts. They handle well. The Essians ain't exactly my cup of tea. Angelica continues to stare a moment before. A woman after my own heart. A smile creeps across her face. Grant sighs, relieved. What kind of person works in a ship shop on an empty moon all by their lonesome? Doesn't being in a ship that small ever make you feel claustrophobic? Grant blinks. Claustrophobic? No, I wouldn't say I feel claustrophobic. A place like this makes me feel claustrophobic. Angelica looks around at the endless panoramic horizon surrounding them. Really? Horizons give me the creeps. Always seen the end like that? Like a finish line you ain't never allowed to cross? I'm up there. I got nothing around me but nothing. I mean, sure, you get a bit more room to stretch your legs when you're sitting on the rock, but the rock's just spinning. You just sit still and the rock moving for you. That feeling makes me feel a bit antsy, but up there. Nah, up there, I'm the one. You get to say where we're going. What the fuck are you talking about? I go crazy trapped in that cockpit like a fucking sar sardine. Nah, uh, see, it's these rocks are the trap. Suck you in with their gravity, make you think you're too small to be up there. My ship gets me up there just fine. My ship gets me up. So, no, she, she don't make me feel claustrophobic. In fact, I ain't never thought about her feeling claustrophobic. Grant goes back to her food. Angelica stares. You're out of your goddamn mind, cowboy. Grant chuckles then. Does tend to get lonely, though. And as if on cue, the sky begins to fade quickly into dusk. Angelica thinks. You're staying the night, then? Pardon? The spin is quick on this moon. Night's only a few hours here. Take a load off. Have a, have a nap in the guest room. I'll get to work at the first light, and you'll be on your way in no time. By the time she finishes the sentence, it's nightfall. I don't mean to. <laughs> oh, you have some place to be? Doesn't really matter, does it? Angelica takes the empty plates and moves inside. Grant shakes her head. She can't help but watch Angelica as she goes. Interior ship shop, guest quarters night. A minimal room with not much to it but the cot in the middle on which we find Grant sleeping. Things are very still. Suddenly, we reverse angle to find Angelica at the door, watching her. She stares a moment, menacing, creepy. She begins to creep up to Grant, looming over her, threatening. She reaches out her hand. Grant's eyes shoot open. She elbows Angelica in the gut, throws her off the bed onto the ground, whips around and shoots her in the gut with her laser gun, all in one fell swoop. 
The girls freeze. The situation registers. Angelica screams. What the fuck you do that for? Me? You're, you're sneaking up on me. I knew it. I knew you came to kill me. What? No, I didn't. Those SDF bastards figured out it was me, didn't they? They didn't. Wait, figured out what was you? They had a team land here for a tune-up. Oh, I tuned them up all right. Rigged their ship with an oxygen leak. Those assholes stopped breathing within hours of their next stop. She takes in a wound and lets out a laugh. <laughs> totally worth it. That's cold-blooded. You're a fucking bounty hunter. I'm crying out loud, I'm not a bounty hunter. You just shot me for them! That was an accident, I'm not working for them. Oh sure, what are you, freelance? You and me both, buddy. But the point Wait is- Wait a minute, who's pointing fingers here? You just came in here to kill me. I didn't come in here to kill you. Why'd you come in here for then? Angelica looks up at her, shrugs, awkward beat. Oh. Had all that talk about being lonely. Oh. Kind of killed the mood, didn't you? Wait, you... You thought I was flirting? No, oh, don't act all innocent now that you embarrassed yourself and shot me. You were definitely flirting. I was not flirting. Horseshit! You really are all alone up here, aren't you? Don't you try to patronize me right now as I'm fucking dying! Grant kneels down next to Angelica, takes her in her arms, looks her in the eye. Angelica, I'm not gonna let you die. There's a beat of romantic tension then. Not until you fix the pot hopper. Angelica realizes. Oh, for fuck's sake. You gotta help me get off this moon. Something you should have thought about before putting a goddamn laser in my gut! Finally, we get a good look at the wound. It's impossible. A literal hole is burned into her stomach. We see her intestines and the damage done inside. Angelica wails in pain in response. Help me fix the hopper and we'll get to the next rock. Find you some proper help. Hoppers are made for one, and, and barely that. I could put you in my lap or something. Oh, now you want to get close. Not, I didn't mean it like that. Look, Grant, you're charming and all, but after this whole getting shot by you thing, I think I would truly, honestly, rather die. Grant smirks. That's not an option. Grant goes to pick her up. Oh, what are you doing now? Grant can't quite get Angelica up over her shoulders. Angelica screams bloody murder the whole time she's trying. Exterior desert night. Grant is dragging Angelica across the desert to the tra crash landing site. Just let me die, Grant. I know you're here to kill me. Just finish the job. I'm getting you out of here. Or you're getting me out of here. Or we're getting out of here. Damn it. Oh, my fucking hero. And what a way with words. Grant shifts to adjust her weight, putting pressure on Angelica's wounds. Her screams shut her up. Their silhouettes pass through the landscape in the moonlight. No matter how far we get from them, we hear Angelica's screams. Exterior desert, crash landing site night. Grant drags Angelica close to the crash site and finally lets go of her. She runs over to the pieces of her ship. Which part is it, Angelica? I pointed it out to you earlier, didn't I? I need you to point it out again, damn it! Angelica miraculously uses what strength she has left to turn and face the ship. She points to a piece of rubbish in one of the many piles. It's that one there. Grant rushes over to the pile and picks up the first piece. No, not that one. Grant tosses it aside, picks up the next. No, below that. Grant picks up a piece below that one. No, you idiot, the one above that. Grant puts her hand on the piece above it. Uh, yes, for God's sakes, that one. Why didn't you just say that one? I've been, that's the one I've been saying this whole time. Grant grabs the piece and heads back to Angelica. She takes in the sight of the dying girl. Spilled guts, dried tears, filth everywhere. You like what you see? You look about the northbound end of a southbound mule. Oh, to ass play, are you? Fuck off. Grant picks her back up to begin the trek back. I think maybe you're just bitter about me shooting you at all. Let me tell you, I'm not entirely thrilled about it, in case that wasn't clear. Exterior desert dawn later. As Grant and Angelica cross back towards the ship shop, the sun rises around them as quickly as it set before. Grant speaks between breaths while she heaves Angelica along. I'm thinking, maybe you don't want me to leave. You ain't trying to let me succeed on this endeavor. I'm thinking you should just drop me here and let me rest in peace. If resting had been on your mind earlier, we wouldn't be in this mess. Are you actually implying that this laser wound in my torso is actually my own fault? You're cute when you're angry. Angelica's adrenaline kicks into overdrive. She starts to hit Grant on the hand. No, you know what? 
I changed my mind. You'd better not fucking let me die because I swear to fucking God if the last thing I ever hear is you telling me that I'm fucking cute when I'm fucking angry. Wow, Jesus, stop it. It was a joke. Their bickering grows louder and more indistinguishable as their silhouettes move back across the desert from whence they came. Interior ship shop garage day. Grant with Angelica and the ship part in her arms enters through the garage doors as before. As she approaches, we get a look at the pod hopper, the smart car of the interstellar travel. She sets Angelica down next to it, then takes a look at the part, ship part in her hand. So what do I do? You've got to be kidding. Where does the part go? No, I, I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm just going to go ahead and die now. Best of luck. Her eyes roll back as her body starts to go limp. Grant rushes to her. No, 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 no. You son of a bitch. Wake up! She slaps Angelica across the face a couple of times. Her eyes open back up. Angelica? Grant? They gaze into each other's eyes. Romantic tension, then... I hate you. So much. Grant smiles. Just tell me what to do. Grant plops Angelica back down onto the ground and heads back over to the hopper. Right. You're gonna head over to the engine. Grant does so and pops it open. Pop it open. Over to the left, there's a green lever. I see it. I got my hand on it now. No, 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 don't touch it. Grant whips her hand away from it. Right beside it, there's a little black piece of the part next to it that you press down like a button. You should hear a click. Okay. Did you press it down? I pressed it down just now. Well, did you hear the click? Yes, damn it, it clicked. Well, I can't fucking see what you're doing, all right? What next? That click means that the whole section is loose now, so you've got to pick it up. Just pick up this whole section. Next to the white straw thingy. No, it's not the white straw thingy. It's next to it. Grant lifts up this particular section of the engine. Now flip it over. You see a piece there inside the section of it? Looks just like the piece in your hand. You just gotta replace that piece there. Grant struggles to pull the piece out of the socket that it's in, but can't. How do I do it? What do you mean, how do you do it? You just take one piece out and put the other in. How do I take the piece out, Angelica? Well, you just twist it, don't you? Righty tighty, lefty loosey, it's simple fucking stuff, really. Grant twists the piece and pop, and it pops off. She tosses it aside and twists the other one in. Now what? Well, you just put it all back. That's it. You're done. Well, that was easy. Fuck you, Grant. Well, let me test her and make sure she's working. Grant climbs into the cockpit of the red popper. She turns it on. She's running just fine. There you have it. Grant turns off the engine and pops back out. She comes toward Angelica. She picks up a spare helmet as she makes her way across the room. She gets close in. The two women share a look. Okay then. Ready to ride me off into the sunset, cowboy? Right. I almost forgot. Grant trains her gun on Angelica. I fucking knew it! Thanks for the help and all. I fucking knew it! Yes, you send their best. God, I was right all along. You never convinced me, you know? Just, just, just doing my job. You understand. Honestly, I'm on this high about being right right now, so, and so clearly on the precipice of death anyway, that it's like barely registering. You didn't sabotage my ship like you did theirs, did you? She takes a beat. Guess you'll find out, won't you? Grant can't help it. She smiles. Just tell me one thing. No more lies. Because it doesn't matter now anyway, right? I can't tell anyone when I'm fucking dead. No more lies. No more lies. You were flirting at dinner, weren't you? I was right about that, too, wasn't I? Grant smiles. She moves in closer to her, slowly. She comes in close to Angelica's face. She lingers there, lets the moment heat up. Angelica can, can barely contain herself. Grant brings her lips to Angelica's, kisses her sweetly. Blam! Angelica's head explodes. Her body slumps to the ground. Grant's gun smokes in her hand. Angelica's guts splattered on her face. Nope. Sure wasn't. She holds her gun, grabs a nearby rag, wipes her face down. She puts the helmet back on, turns to climb back into the ship, and lifts off as the credits roll.